Hey there, it's Sony. This is a February 2022 general reading for Aries. I'll be taking a look at the vibe you're stepping out of, the vibe you're tapping into, the challenge that you'll face during the transition, where to focus your strength, and what you'll gain from this process. I'll also pull a couple of oracle cards to identify the inner knowledge that will be guiding your transition and what you can work on manifesting this month. So, in terms of vibe you are stepping out of the full, vibe that you're tapping into, Hierophant, challenge that you'll face, Eight of Swords, where to focus your strength, Queen of Pentacles, what you'll gain in the process, the Hermit. So you have some um, powerful cards here. You have three major Arcana cards out of the five, and the Page of Cups is the bottom of the deck here, which I use as the influencing energy or overall lesson. And it can indicate an offer of love. It also could be creativity. Um, the full I see as new beginnings, taking calculated risks, being open to new experiences. And the Hierophant is, um, let's see, there's this kind of spiritual guru here that um, is in front of a kind of a stairway to a higher knowledge. Um, it could be that in terms of what you're stepping out of, it could be a full of, um, in the sense of not really knowing the direction you want to go, um, but in following your heart, maybe it led you to kind of a spiritual um, aspect of yourself. So we'll go ahead and clarify. I'll take the top and bottom of the deck. For the full, you have another queen. There's a queen of wands, bottom of the deck. You have six of wands. So Queen of Wands is kind of a kind of a fierce individual who is also kind of a leader of the pack. And you have the Six of Wands here kind of supporting that that concept. So let's see here. Let me take a look at the Hierophant and the vibe that you are tapping into. You have the King of Wands here. It's a lot of um, fierce energy here for you, Aries. Bottom of the deck, you have the Death card. So some kind of transformation. Um, some kind of transformation or release. Um, it could be with again with the page of cups if you are um, kind of pursuing things with an open mind open heart creativity imagination then uh, it could be a transformation of uh, well you got a lot of one energy you got a lot of fire going on so I'm going to take a clarification of this depth to see, um, you know, Hierophant is a little bit more traditional and toned down. Um, it could indicate needing to tone down your partying ways. Um, if you are a little reckless, Hierophant could indicate kind of having a more, um, yeah, focused path in terms of like either a, you know, a spiritual awakening or just wanting to be a better person in general. So I'm gonna clarify this death card here. 
and the Knight of Swords, which is kind of a pursuit of truth. So it could be that you're trying to learn more about yourself. Maybe you were um, a little loose and carefree and you're wanting to see if there's something more to life than just, you know, the living it up, having your friends think you're um, this amazing, uh, spontaneous person and that you have, there's something deeper that you're going for. Um, in terms of the challenge, you have the Eight of Swords, which is kind of, kind of conflicts with these other cards here of being so um, courageous and um, passionate. Eight of Swords is really kind of getting in a place where you think you have no options when you do, um, but it's more a, maybe it's a negative self-talk or um, people around you kind of giving you the impression that you can't do anything that you can. Um, so let's see here, let me clarify this challenge. So you have the Two of Swords here, which is kind of a fear or anxiety and even making a decision. And you have the High Priestess here. You can see the kind of imagery, the colors, very similar here. And perhaps you need some like spiritual guidance or a mentor to kind of help you use your inner knowledge, your inner knowing, that intuition, and follow it and not feel like you're stuck and that whatever decision you make is, you know, um, the whole world is hanging on it. It kind of indicates that you have this ability, but there's some kind of fear or underlying aspect that you need to um, kind of change in order to tap into the high priestess aspect of yourself. So where to focus your strength, you have the queen of pentacles here. So that is really a an energy of self-care, self-love, knowing um, who you are, being connected with your environment, having compassion, um, and also for the most part having compassion for yourself and being able just to, you know, sit in a garden and feel the sun or, or the chill wind on you and just be and be happy. So that's where I see you need to focus your strength. So I'll clarify that you have the seven of cups, which kind of indicates fantasy, um, illusions, what you want, um, but not necessarily need. And in that you kind of need to follow the direction of the, the page of cups and just kind of explore it, what it is you want but really go for what your heart desires. And you have the three of cups here, which is kind of um, celebration of relationships with others and friendships, family, and so forth. Um, it's really interesting. In the past energy, you've got this kind of fiery popularity um, focus on almost outward appearances and then kind of more internalized aspects. And in the strength, it's kind of know who you are, know what you want, and celebrate the people around you that can accept that, support that. Um, and what you'll gain in the process 
is this Hermit card, which is the ability to withdraw from the hoopla of the world and not need to hear the roar of laughter or claps of approval and just know that what your truth is is truth enough for you. So I'll go ahead and clarify that hermit. You have the five of wands, which is kind of conflict, minor annoyances, and it could be you and other people or the people that you surround yourself with, or it could be even your own internal aspects, especially if you've got the Eight of Swords and your inability to prioritize what it is you actually want um, might be stifling you to think that you can't really make a decision. And then these Ace of Cups. So um, with the Hermit being in what you could gain, it could indicate that just accepting that there are different aspects of what it is that you want and different aspects of the world, just accepting it and embracing it and kind of being alone in your Queen of Pentacles energy will help you realize that you need to love yourself, love all aspects of yourself enjoy the moments alone where you can actually reflect on yourself in the world and then you'll have um, enough love to go around for others but definitely taking care of yourself and um, tapping into your inner knowledge and um, having confidence in that what you are choosing for yourself is the right choice and at the bottom of the clarifying deck, you have this Ace of Pentacles. So it could indicate that if you kind of look at the things that you want, think about what you thought impossible could be possible, you can create, you know, abundance for yourself. You can create the world that you want to live or the sense of value that you want for yourself. So I'll go ahead and pull a card to identify the inner knowledge that's going to be helping you in this transition. You have Wild Rose Fairy in love. So it's basically self-love and love of others that is really the focus here um, and not necessarily outward appearances. Um, there's something to be said for a sense of structure giving you the freedom that you need to explore your abilities and explore the world. I'm gonna take a look here at what you can work on manifesting. You have family. So this card kind of indicates that I guess number one, family isn't necessarily the one that you're born into. It can include that obviously, but it's also the people that you choose to be around. And to know that sometimes there's conflicts, there's minor annoyances, um, but recognizing where you can go when you need to uh, recuperate, recover, and know that the people that you choose to surround yourself as family are the people that you can rely on and trust to support you. So I hope this provides you some helpful perspective and We'll see you next time.